Hello friends, welcome to Knowledge World. Friends, today I am going to show you how you can create your own custom payment page or how you can create a custom payment link URL in PayPal, okay? You have to have a PayPal account in order to create a custom PayPal URL link, okay? So I'm sure you have a PayPal account. If you don't have, just go to paypal.com and sign up for PayPal. All right. Now, if you already have the PayPal, now then let me show you how you can create your custom URL. Okay. Okay. Now, before that, guys, uh, friends, uh, I just would like to request you that please uh, subscribe the channel Knowledge World. Below the video, you see the red color button. Subscribe. Click on that and just subscribe the channel so that whenever I will upload any new video you will be getting the video at first than any other person and also let me remind you for subscribing the channel there is no charge it's free and it will be free there youtube never charge anything for subscribing it just subscription is for getting the notification notification whenever i will upload any new video okay it's for that only so let's start this is my paypal form or paypal uh, dashboard let me give you some brief idea what we have already if you click on send and request payment this one then you get four options here pay for goods and services request a payment create invoice and get your paypal.me link these are the four options you already have uh, under this tab send and request tab by using that you can receive the payment so let me give you the brief idea about that pay for goods and services if you click on this one you need to type the PayPal ID the buyer PayPal ID the buyer buying product or service from you just ask their email ID put the email ID and uh, they will receive the invoice let me show you how it works if I'm typing an email ID okay uh, give me a moment okay so I just type an email ID after typing the email id you need to click on next and after you click on next you need to put the amount here like 29 dollar okay if i put 29 dollar okay and uh, then over the down below you need to click on continue and the person will be receiving the in link from paypal for 29 dollar but in this option the buyer need to have to have a paypal account okay it's for this option okay request well all right now request a payment if you click on this one also okay now again you over here you need to type the email id okay if you click on request payment option if you choose type the email id and send but in this case customer can make the payment even they don't have the payment paypal account because the link they are going to receive in their email id by clicking on that link they will receive a payment form by using that they can you know make the payment by using their uh, options credit debit and bank login and all that okay now then we have a third option creating an invoice the invoice if you create an invoice and send the customer will receive an email with an invoice link when they will click on the invoice they can make the payment by seeing the complete invoice let me show you how it's gonna work okay click on create invoice then you need to you can add a company logo by clicking here you can add the company logo or you will get the option to add a company logo from your computer so just you can add the company logo here all right then you can type the invoice number can be anything whatever you feel like date would be there reference as sbo box or whatever the street address your street address the date uh, date on recipient if you want to receive the payment today only then it will be same otherwise you can date like due in 10 days or 15 days 30 days 90 days you can send the invoice okay like this no due date if you want payment today give no due date all right so like this uh, you can uh, create this one now over here you need to type the email id for the buyer okay you can use multiple email id uh, you can add more customer you can type email in CC you can add customers more email ID so at a time you can send a uh, hundred customer to the to hundred to the hundred customer your invoice now over here you need to put the uh, 
for product or service description like quantity and all that so uh, here you see that under description item name the item name whatever the item customer is buying if he is buying service put the service name if buy, buying a product just put the product name like um, i am putting uh xyz product okay and uh, and the amount is say suppose uh, 99 dollar now if you want to add some text okay click on this and add a new text slab here click here and there you need you can put like what you want tax vat gst according to the country wise it ma it you know it matters so you can put like tax just type tax okay no sorry they type taps or tax then how much tax in in percentage you want like uh five percent ten percent fourteen percent like say put i'm putting eight percent tax okay but a tax also i already have created a tax like that that way eight percent tax so if i select the eight percent tax here okay now if you go down okay now one thing under after the item name description you can you can optional this is optional but you can put the description regarding the product or the service okay say something about your product or service okay if you want more row you can add by clicking here add row okay if, if you want more item description item if you have more than one item you're selling at a time so just you know already you can see the another tab here you can close that also or you can add also okay you can add again and again you can add if there if you are selling more than one item or product just you can add by this doing this okay after that you can put some discount if you want to give five percent ten percent discount to the customer just say suppose if you're giving a five percent discount percentage it will take automatically the discount amount will come up if there is a shipping charges for product like say suppose if you're charging ten dollars shipping charges you can add uh, ten dollars shipping charges again you can put tax for shipping charges depending on you and you see that percent tax i have added showing 7.9 7.52 so the product the price is 99 as you can see you you give the discount 4.95 then you add the shipping charges 10 percent and then you are adding a tax and eight percent so total you know this would be the total triple one five seven dollar usd here you can put note to recipient okay you can put anything thanks for your business with us okay anything you want you can say something to your buyer then your company terms and condition up to 4000 words you can put the terms and condition so just copy paste the terms and condition from your website and just type in here okay and before sending you can see the preview also how the preview will be it will be like this the invoice number invoice date due date 3rd february today's date and uh, then your company name would be showing here and then description about the com your product description would be here and then the customer can pay from if you click on all right now you can send them they will receive the invoice they will click on the invoice and they can make the payment all right so this was for this was for invoice now let's go to the paypal dot me link in this one you can create uh, your own paypal remember you know url which you can always remember you can anytime you can take the payment from the customer even without uh, you know log into your paypal account or something this is like uh, like you see paypal dot me slash anything you can type here your name or any desired name a unique name anything you can type and you need to click on use this url okay if you want to click on that then you can click on use this url then that url you can mail to your customer because you don't even have to log into the your paypal account uh in if you have paypal.me link you don't need to log into your, you just need to log into your email type your url paypal.me slash the xyz whatever you have after that and just send to your buyer they they will click on that link and they will make the payment then in there and you will get the notification from paypal that the payment is done but in this one you the, your customer need to have to have a paypal account okay but the one i am going to show you now for that customer do not require paypal account they can make the payment using through their credit or debit card okay so let's start that one actually that's this tutorial is for that one okay once you log into your paypal account the first dashboard you get the, for PayPal, just on the left hand side, you will get a selling tools. There you will find the this option, seller preference. Okay, seller preference. If you click on this one, it's open a different window in a different tab with my profile option. As you can see, my profile. 
all right now there you will get multiple options but don't bother in all that options the first option you get paypal button okay manage my paypal button click on update click on this one update and then you see here this page my save button you need to click here it says create new button once you click on this one create a new button then here you get a uh, option your item name now the item name if i am uh, charging for product it can be product name or the service so suppose i am providing service i put like a, some kind of plan uh, like gold plan so i'm making a gold plan okay now item id i can put anything in item id uh, like uh, hash one two one two one two one two like this now the price 99 or whatever 129.99 the price is anyways the customize button add drop down menu to you these are other options that you can utilize and you can see if you are uh, selling a product it will be good for you this option customize button okay then uh, use a specific, a specific amount okay if you want anything and if you want again tax and percentage like if you want to add 8% tax okay you can do that and all these things leave it as it is don't focus on that okay that's it you just type the item name like gold plan silver plan or sil nike shoes or adidas shoes item name uh, and then item id it can be anything hash one two three one one four 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 three one two two nine anything uh, price and you can select the currency in which currency you want to choose okay the currency is there then add a drop down menu with price you can see the example how it will come up like drop down menu with the different price medium short but this is for if you are selling a clothes shoes or something like that for the product for the service i didn't don't think so you need to add this one all right but if you want you can play around with it how it's i'm just showing the way how to create okay now you have many options to do over here okay postage you can add some special amount also a specific amount tax you can add and then simply click on create button once you click on create button now here this is the for you see this one we get highlighted you can select and you can use this uh, coding in your website to receive the payment but if you don't have a website then you simply click on email and copy this url and save it in the notepad just open up the notepad and to save this url like this all right and you can send this url to your uh, buyer mail them even they don't have a paypal let me show you once they will open the link this link how the payment form will come up let me show you now once they will click on the link the invoice or the payment link you have created here you see it's opening the form right now checkout form so this is the form as you can see the 29 dollar and uh, it will be your tax or vat that you have added eight percent you see here gold plan item name showing the item name here so I, I made a mistake i don't need to put hash one to one item name just put the item name the hash will become up automatically so when you are putting the item id just put numbers don't put hash i made a mistake all right now here customer will get two options the customer will get two options one if they have paypal account they can log in through the paypal and they can simply make the payment without using your their credit card or debit card or anything or else they can check out with their credit or debit card by clicking here they can add you know quantity also they can multiply the quantity and by clicking here if suppose the customer don't have the paypal if they will click on checkout with paypal then they have to select the country at first they might need to select the country us canada uk or wherever the customer your target customer is you see so it's taking a little time i don't know okay yeah the form has come up as you can see here let me show you you see 29 plus banks 32.93 dollar country if you select uh, united state and then it will be selected now here the customer can put the credit card number 
billing address mobile and then they can either they can create paypal from here by putting the password or they can say no thanks and continue and the payment will be done so this way you can create a custom paypal link which you can use for the website this coding or you can simply copy this url so this is your custom paypal link you can send the customer via mail or same url this one you can also add on your website simply paste on your website and the customer just need to click on that you know hyperlink and the customer will be redirected to, the, to this payment form here okay so this is how it works i hope you like the video guys if you like the video friends please don't forget to like and share thank you so much for watching bye bye